Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Visio. In this module, I want to show you how you can create your own logo page and attach it to multiple pages in a Visio diagram. So the template that I've got open at the moment is just a simple flowchart template and I'm going to create a simple flowchart without any text in it, so we'll just get something on the screen. I'll use the, um, the automated shapes feature when you can just hover over these shapes and it pops down there so you can just click on it like that when it finally came up so i'll just do a few different ones and then i'll have a, a decision and another process underneath that and then a finish so i've got myself a little flow chart very quickly there now what you get in visio on all the diagrams is the ability to go on to design and select a preset background and also borders and titles. So if I go onto that and just pick the one that I always use, which is the world, what you get when you click on that, there's the background. It's a page that comes in as a background page. If I right click on page one and go into page setup, it's got there name page one, background page is this background, which I've just added. If I go onto that page, right click on there, page setup it's a background page it hasn't got any background attached to it so what you can do is you can create your own background page so I'm just going to get a blank page page 2 now if I go into page setup there and say it's a background page and I'm just going to call this logo for now logo and it hasn't got a background itself but you could you could do that if you want, but I'm clicking OK to that. And now it's gone over there, look. So if I click into page one, I've still got that. If I go into page one, I've double clicked on it. If I right click on it, page setup, change that background to logo, which is blank at the moment. OK, gets rid of the world. I can delete that world off now. I'll just delete that page completely. So now my logo page is waiting for me to put something on here so you, you can get I haven't got a logo that I can utilize so I'm just going to pretend and make one up I'll just do a, a text box and type it over here it's easy training LTD limited click off that back onto my pointer tool so that can be my logo um, if I want to make that put a different color scheme in there probably need to make that font a bit bigger to be honest it's tiny there we go bigger so that is now sitting in the top right hand corner of the logo page and if I go back onto page one you can see how that now comes through problem with that though if you want to use if I go back to design one of these borders which are all preset you can see how they're going to sit in the top right hand corner of the page and also when you click on these if I click on that one that's now sitting over that and it's created a second background page so logo and that's the background page so my logo probably needs just to come down a little bit and for me to type on that background page I have to go onto it and then just type induction or whatever you want to call your your little flow chart so that should come through if I go back onto page one I can see my logo there and I can see the title with all its structures intact. If I right click on page one, page setup, it's still looking at the logo page as the background, which is what I want. So every every single page that I insert, so if I click on another one, all of that structure look is coming through my logo page and the title is coming through onto page two, onto page one. So that's basically how you can create your own your own background page and then attach it to multiple pages and also get the benefit of having the title page as well. So just a very short video on that. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you on the next one.